Grade 8, we're using models to multiply fractions. And the model we're going to use here is rectangles. Let's begin with our multiplication question using two proper fractions. Two thirds times or multiplied by four fifths. Our job is to figure out what the product of this multiplication question is. We've learned how to model fractions using rectangles. Let's begin by modeling the fraction two-thirds. To do this, I must use a rectangle which represents a whole. The rectangle I have drawn here represents one whole. I'm going to represent the fraction two-thirds. If I look at my denominator, I know I need to divide my fraction into three equal parts. And to do this, I'm going to draw my lines in a horizontal manner. That's from left to right. There's one, there's two, and three. Each smaller rectangle in the whole represents one-third. Now remember, I need to represent two-thirds. So I'm going to shade the parts that I'm dealing with. There's one-third, and I'm now coloring another third to represent two-thirds. The purple shaded areas represent the fraction two-thirds. I'm going to continue using this model to represent the fraction four-fifths. But in this case, I'm going to draw my lines vertically, up and down. So let's just ignore the purple parts of our rectangle for right now. I'm going to use my vertical lines to draw four-fifths, which means I have to divide into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, and five. Each of these vertical rectangles represent one-fifth. I must represent four-fifths. In this case, I'm going to use a different colored marker and color in the fraction strips or rectangles to equal four-fifths. There's one-fifth, there's two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths. Now I've used this model to represent both fractions for one specific reason. It's going to help us multiply four-fifths, which is represented by the green, and two-thirds, which is represented by the purple. Now remember, our question is two-thirds multiplied by four-fifths. Let's take a look at the whole. That is, the whole rectangle. You'll notice that we've taken our whole rectangle and divided it into smaller parts. Actually, all these parts are of equal size, which means we've created a new fraction. How many of these small squares have we created within our whole? There's two ways we can do it. One, we can count each square, or we can take a multiplication question, count how many squares are along the base, as well as how many go up and down. Let's try both ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can also go one, two, three times five. One, two, three, four, five gives me fifteen. This gives us a denominator of fifteen. The question is now, what is our numerator for our fraction? Well, if you look at our model, 
you'll notice that a number of the squares are colored twice. That means they're colored purple and green. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one, two, by four. One, two, three, four. Two times four is eight. The product of two-thirds times four-fifths is eight-fifteenths.